Hey, welcome back. We're not done talking about breadboard, so let's get started with the next lesson. Last time I showed you guys how to power an LED using just the breadboard and the power source. The amount of power being pumped into the LED was way too much power and eventually it would have burned out. So one way to avoid that from happening is by using things like resistors. We resist the amount of power that goes into the electrical circuits. They take the power from the power source and they just kind of like hold it back from the circuit. So it's not getting all of the energy, it's just getting a little amount. I'll show you guys a quick demonstration on how you can power an LED using just the power source and a resistor. I'm gonna take my LED, the longer side is gonna go on our ground rope. I'm gonna take my resistor and I'm gonna attach that to the power rail and then I'm gonna connect that to the front. So that's a closer look of what's going on there. Another way that you can resist the amount of energy being put into your LED is by using a micro switch. A micro switch prevents the energy going into the electrical component until the button is pressed down all the way. Let me show you how to light an LED with a micro switch. I'm going to sit in the middle of the dip support. Get my LED. Long end is always going to be in the ground rail, which is negative. Take a pre-bent wire. I'm going to connect the power to the button. So you want to make sure that it's on the same. Line. Take the last resistor and attach the power from the button to the LED. I'm gonna do that by connecting it there and there. And then you'll see there when I turn it on. So that's basically it for the second lesson. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped.